We're continuing our series on smartwatch ticks, on tips, tricks, and techniques for dealing with your Android-based smartwatch. And this uh, portion is going to take us a little bit further in what we covered last time. Our last installment of this series talked about the importance of using uh, your internal memory in the watch effectively and efficiently by First of all, making sure what apps you're thinking of installing are available to be moved to the SD card by checking from your phone on whether this button is available to you or not. In this case, Django Radio, really nice streaming radio station, cannot be moved to the SD card. It will take up valuable room on your phone that you need for other things. So think about these and don't install them if they're not movable unless you really um, need to. Now, we're going to go a little bit deeper into this whole tip area and let you know that there's more than just apps that you're probably going to install too. For example, you may want to change the voice that your watch talks to you in. And there's something to know that the Ivona voices, all of them, are not movable to the SD card. However... If you like the voices from Sarah Proc, like this one, it is movable. Now this is really important because voices are huge. They take up a huge amount of internal memory. And um, you want to really only install voices to use on your watch that can be moved to the SD card. So if you're in the market or looking uh, for alternative voices for your watch to speak, check that out for sure. So. Let's cut to the chase. How do we make this really easy? Well, here's how. Download and install Clean Master. Clean Master is an app that generally is used to clean your phone or your watch, right? But it has one really cool extra special feature. It allows you to identify those apps which are movable to the SD card. When you bring it up, it's kind of squished on your watch. But this probably is the best next app to install on your watch. Once you've got it there, you click this funny little icon in the bottom. If you do it on your phone, these make more sense so you can see what they are. But once you click that one, it's going to go through all of your apps that you have available. And in this upper area, you see Uninstall, Picks, APK Files, and Move. You want to tap on the Move button. When you do, it's going to skim all of your apps and the ones that are available to be moved will show up with a box that you can put a check mark. You have the option too, when you have some of those, of clicking one check mark at the bottom and they're all selected. Okay? When you've done that, you hit Move to SD card and it will leave this app and go into your app manager and it will automatically bring up each one of those apps one by one so you can scroll to that button that says move to SD card. You tap it, you move it to the SD card. When it's done, you hit the back button here and it remembers the list and brings automatically up the next one ready to move. This way you don't miss any and you make sure all your apps actually get moved to the SD card. Now I suggest you decide on the apps you want to download you download three or four or five of them, so you're starting to fill up your internal memory. Then you run this app, select all of them, move them to the SD card. That gets them out of the way. They go back to your Play Store, your list of apps, download three or four or five more. Do the same procedure over again. Install all of the apps that you know you want that are movable. Use this Clean Master or do them individually if you want to, to get them off of internal and over to SD card. And then, and only then, can you start installing the apps that you'll be using that have to reside on internal memory that are not movable. That's a really important tip, trick, and technique all combined together in how you can manage your apps to squeeze more on, on your device than you thought. Recently, you may have looked at an app I did, which was an app review of the apps I had installed on my watch before I realized this, because I thought I was done. I thought memory was full. No, it's not. Yes, I've installed a whole bunch more apps 
uh, like the Google Voice, in addition to the speech to clipboard that we had, um, assistance, digital assistance, that all of these are movable over to the SD card and are a whole lot of fun to play with, to talk to, sort of like Siri, but different. All these can now be installed because there's actually room here. So, really important trick, get your list of apps together, get them installed and get them over to the SD card and then come back because I'm going to show you some stuff you need to know when you have a lot of apps on your watch. That's next.